Hello there, and welcome to our course, Build with Bootstrap. I'll be your course instructor, Brock Nunn. Throughout this course, we'll be discussing Twitter Bootstrap. It's a front-end CSS and JavaScript framework that powers a multitude of sites, modern and responsive. Since its initial development, Bootstrap has curated an enormous community that follows it really passionately. One of the benefits of curating such a large community is having incredibly active development. This means that for front-end designers around the world, Bootstrap remains relatively modern, new, and up-to-date with all of the latest web design trends, including responsiveness and accessible web design. And before you get worried, I understand what you're thinking. With using a front-end framework, it's easy to make a samey looking site. However, throughout this course, I'm going to help you understand how to not only create your site with Bootstrap, but to also customize it to look exactly like you or your client needs it to look. Throughout this course, we're not only talking theory. In fact, we're going to build our own website with Twitter Bootstrap and show you how, in practice, you can create a great looking site. In fact, let's talk about some of the things that you will be learning. We're going to set up our files for a modern web application. So I'm going to show you what my favorite practices for my startup files are. And it's not just getting the default bootstrap files. I'm going to show you where to go and what to get to set up a website using static files that will perform well in any server environment. Also, we're going to delve deeper into the language that's behind Bootstrap itself, the less pre-processing language. If you're not already pre-processing your CSS, I'm going to show you exactly how to get started doing it. We'll show how powerful it is to use less to customize Twitter Bootstrap and your site in general. If you're already familiar with the less pre-processing language, you might find it interesting just how easy it is to integrate Bootstrap with less and then customize your website even more. In the main build of our site, we are going to create together a full marketing website for a fictional client. I'll walk you through my workflows and maybe give you a few tips for how I handle client requirements. As we all know, no one framework is a one-stop shop and Bootstrap is no exception. We're going to extend Bootstrap using icon fonts and additional JavaScript. Extending Bootstrap in a friendly manner that works well with the code that is already there is an excellent way to add more functionality to Bootstrap's stellar code base. Once we complete our final build, we're going to tackle, tackle modern web deployment. While we won't be using technologies such as Git, we are going to be taking a look at things like file minification, image optimization, as well as simple management techniques using PHP and the includes. Also, best practices when it comes to uploading your final site and getting it ready for life on the server. Let's take a look at what our site is going to look like. Our fictional company is called ClearStep. Using Twitter Bootstrap, we're going to integrate a lot of advanced functionality, such as a homepage slider, an interesting call to action. We're going to use Twitter Bootstrap's thumbnail functionality as well as including our own coloring through the use of the less pre-processing language. We're going to create our own about page as well, showing how we can highlight featured content and extend Bootstrap using things like icon fonts. And I know it wouldn't be a modern website if we had left out responsiveness, which of course we didn't do. You'll notice that as we shrink the size of ClearStep, our page is responding in kind. We include responsive navigation as well as items that lay out depending on what size our screen is. Right now is the best possible time to be diving into Bootstrap. And there's no better way to get started than going to the source itself. To do that, simply go to getbootstrap.com. When you're ready, head on over to the next video and we'll begin our first build with Bootstrap.